I really love discovering where my food comes from and how it's made. And for the free range cook, I headed over to dairy country and the historic old town of Omaru with its lovely old limestone buildings to get a bit of a lowdown on the cheese that's made there. It never ceases to amaze me that no matter the form, whether it's a nutty hard parmesan or a creamy melt in the mouth brie, cheese essentially is just milk. Simply by changing the temperature or the amount of fat, the culture or the time, you end up with a different cheese. And that's amazing. The process of ageing and ripening cheese is called affinage, and my friend Simon Berry from Whitestone Cheese had loads of great tips for me about handling and storing cheese. Simon! Hi, Annabelle. How nice to see you, and look at all this beautiful cheese. Yeah. Look at this. This is just amazing. Mmm, that blue. Yeah, that's Windsor Blue. That is a beautiful thing. I mean, honestly, how long did that take to make, to grow and produce um, itself into a cheese like that? Uh, eight weeks. Really? So, so we mature it for eight weeks in our maturing room, and it's turned by hand uh, once a week. And I think that's incredible. And a nice round shape. And, and then a cheese like that, which would weigh quite a lot, but I mean, how much milk would you need to make a cheese like that? He's four kilos, so we're getting about 10% yield. Wow. So yeah, 40 litres of milk. That's a lot of milk. That's incredible. To enjoy cheese at its best, the most important thing you need to remember is to bring it out of the fridge for about an hour before you serve it. That way the flavours fully develop. I have to say it's really hard not to get greedy when you start tasting cheeses at their perfect point of ripeness like this. So with all those yummy cheeses in hand, we headed out for a tasting picnic. My idea of heaven.